In this video, we're going to discuss how to determine a weighted mean. Okay, so a student's GPA is weighted by the number of credit hours each class is worth. So let's calculate this student who took music, statistics, biology, and PE. All right, so this is one semester GPA. All right, um, so let's see. To calculate a weighted mean, basically, um, this B is basically showing up twice. Right, it's and this A is showing up three times. Right, it's weighted by the number of credit hours. Okay, so this C is showing up four times because it's four credits. Um, it's worth four credits. Okay, so the the credit hours is the weight. So I'm gonna put a W on top of that. Um, it's weighted by the credit hours. So that's W represents weight. Uh, the grade, the grade. This is this is the data value. Okay. Um, we don't, you know, what it, how many points is a B worth, right? Um, when we take a GPA, a B is worth three points. So basically that B is representing a three. An A is worth four points. A C is worth two. And then this A again is worth four. Okay, so these values, three, four, two, four, these are the actual data values, all right? So to calculate the um, to calculate the weighted uh, mean, what I'm going to first do is I'm going to calculate w times x. By doing that, it's basically saying okay, three plus three, is three two times, right? Three two times, so that's six. Uh, four is showing up three times, so four plus four plus four, right? Four times three, so that's twelve. Uh, two is showing up four times, so there's eight twos, or sorry, there's eight points for that C, okay? So eight is, um, the, this, this two is showing up four times, okay? This uh, four is showing up twice, so four times two is also eight, okay? So now, um, this is, you know, basically, it's, it's starting to sum up all of the, all of the grades, right? So we need to sum up all of these ones, sum up all of these grades, all these points. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. We can pull out a calculator to do that. So um, let's see, I have six plus 12 plus eight plus eight, right? So 34, so there's 34 points total that this uh, student earned this semester, right? And then how many points um, were potentially available to them is the sum of all the different weights, okay? Um, so let's see if we sum up all these weights. Okay, this is five, nine, 10, 11. The sum of all the different weights, all right? So now to find the sample mean or to find the, the GPA, um, we have this equation. I'm gonna go ahead and write it here. So X bar is gonna be the sum of the weights times uh, the grade divided by the total sum of weights, right? Um, and let's see. So I mean, basically, the sum of the weights is is basically the number of credits, total number of credits that they took, right? So there are two Bs that were in the credits, four As that were that that, that they had a credit for. Um, two C, or sorry, four C's that they have credit for, and two A's that they have credit for. So the total number of credits that they took is 11, right? So that's why it gets to be in the denominator, right? Sort of like how the total sample size in, in, a, in a normal sample mean would be in the denominator, okay? So now your sample is just, um, you know, one credit is, is like a sampling unit, basically, okay? All right, so, um, this, this sum of W times X is 34. The weight times the uh, grade is 34. And then the sum of uh, the weights is 11. Um, when you take that uh, into a calculator, so 34 divided by 11. All right, so we'll go ahead and round to two decimal places. So that'll be 3.09. Okay, 3.09, and that is the student's GPA for the semester, and that is how to calculate a weighted mean.